Hey, homeschoolers, this is Jim Pence with See the Light. Uh, I don't actually have a new project for you this week, but I do have an art tip, and it's kind of based on the projects that are coming next month. Next month, we're going to be doing uh, bookmarks uh, as uh, Christmas presents, and uh, I, I started experimenting with one, and as, as you might be able to see here, it, it really came out a bit of a mess. Everything's muddy and yucky, and uh, so, you know, I've got this piece of paper. I decided it's not going anywhere. It's not going to work. So what do you do with it? I want to show you in this real quick tip uh, a way that you can really salvage this paper. So let me readjust my camera angle and uh, I'm going to show you a tip. Uh, I use, as you'll hear many times and probably already have heard, uh, I use a 300 pound Arches uh, cold press paper. This paper is 100% cotton rag, which um, makes it a whole lot different than most other papers that you're going to get. And one of the, the big benefits is if you do need to or want to do it, you can actually just soak this paper. And uh, although we won't get this back white again, um, we can get a lot of this watercolor out. Enough out that we might be able to salvage it. As a matter of fact, uh, in this next month's projects, I'm going to take this messed up watercolor paper and uh, we're going to see what we can do with it. So I've got this right here. I'm going to just put it in. I've got a little pan of water. I'm going to put it in and I'm going to make sure both sides are really wet. I didn't get quite enough water in the in my little pan here. But I really want to get this nice and soaked. Now, again, with, with cheap paper, you know, the paper is going to fall apart if you do this. Uh, with the good quality paper, uh, the paper will not only withstand this, but you're going to be able to, to clean it off a bit. And uh, we'll come back and use it for something else. I'm going to let it soak a little while. And uh, after it has uh, gotten good and wet, uh, let's see what we can do in terms of cleaning it off. All right, paper has soaked about five minutes now. I'm just going to take it out. And move my water out of the way. I've got a... Actually, let me get a better baby wipe over here. These ones are really soft. And paper is very wet. And I'm just going to come in and blot out... A lot of this now I want I may want to save my uh, kind of sunsetty effect so I'm going to be careful not to mix the the blue and the yellow here because I don't want that yellow to turn green on me so but I'm just uh, I'm just using a clean baby wipe and try to find a clean spot here if I can't find a clean spot I'm going to get a fresh one let's see I'm going to come into this muddy area. That's the one area. And I'm even going to dip a little bit more into the water and blot some of this out. And again, as I said at the beginning, you're not going to get this totally clean unless you soak it in bleach, which I haven't tried. Maybe that'll be a good experiment for the future. And I'm just going to blot as much as I can out and lighten this so that I have something to work with that is at least a little bit better than what I had. It had gotten so muddy and you still see some of that muddiness there, but it's not as stark and it's not as uh, uh, it's not as bad as it was before. So, but this is one of the advantages of working with a really good quality paper because this paper will dry and it will dry fine. Uh, it will be perfectly usable. And uh, the main thing is it it's now what I would call a toned paper. I've I've really already added color to it, and so I might be able to do something else with it. Turn it around here. So this is just a real quick tip of uh, what to do if 
your watercolor paper is is kind of messed up and you've got colors where you didn't want them you know blot it out as much as you can and then let the paper dry and uh, you know start again that's all for this week next week we're going to be doing some uh, watercolor bookmarks as Christmas presents. I know it's November, but uh, you want to start early if you're making your own Christmas presents. So so I'm going to show you each week how to do a different one. And uh, one week I'm going to take this that I just cleaned off and uh, we'll figure out uh, what we're going to make out of it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you want three free art lessons to learn how to draw what you see, go to seethelightshine.com and just click on the button that says free lessons and you will be able to download three free lessons uh, with an option to buy a fourth one that's a super project for only $3.75. So go to seethelightshine.com and uh, try out three free uh, video art lessons. And uh, again, never forget. Always have fun. This is Jim Pence with See the Light. I'll see you next time.